What's up world, I am the Nameless Gamer and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And welcome back to a crime scene. Sakura Ogami has been murdered and it's up to us to find out who did it. So let's just get right into it. Some of the clues I noticed in the last episode before I left. There are shards of glass scattered all over the chairs, all around the chairs Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red and... Those are top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Huh? There's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It looks like Monokuma fused with a chess piece. It's a Monokuma figure. Figure on the floor has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. So next, the handkerchief? This looks like some kind of wrapper. Oh, I said handkerchief, but whatever. Huh? That's... Do you recognize a Hina? Well... Yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. It's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out that Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help calm her down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. I really like them that much. I, mean... I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. So I gave it to her. I've been doing just her normal happy voice, but it isn't until I look up and I see tears running down her face. I should probably give her a bit more distressed voice. Her best friend just got killed. But now, they've lost all their flavor. Hina. Polka dot candy wrapper has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That's... There's handprints all over that locker. Huh? The locker's open. They're on the inside. It's a handprint? Why? It's a handprint doing here. It's more than a Is there a face there? It looks like... I don't have a mouse. I can't point it out. But it looks like there might be like a face. Like someone's got shoved in there. It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker. And it left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. And it looks quite fresh too. I'd say someone who was hiding here in the locker, and they left behind a little something extra. So then, the killer hid in here until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then... What does this handprint mean? It means they were hiding there and waiting for Sakura to have their back turned. Locker handprint has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright, there's also these, which are more of the bottles. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And each of them have mo And inside each bottle, there's some kind of Monokuma figure. I'm what I'm wondering is, how did they get those figures inside the bottles? So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know, where the bottle's holding opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that? I have. Oh yeah, maybe I have, if you haven't. In other words... So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. The Monokuma bottle has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things, little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with the Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass around the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. I mean, I figured that out in the end of the last episode, so... Yeah, there's a blood stain over there we can look at. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. So it come from soccer, right? That doesn't make sense. This is so far away from where she died. I was wondering about that. Magazine shelf blood stain. Blah blah blah. So let's actually look at the dead body. And then probably get the accounts from these two. Sakura drew her last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. It's obvious evidence of a blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. And I can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. 
status of Sakura's body. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. Nope, it's poison. Did Hina do it? There's a candy wrapper right there. It's poison. Don't know where the blood would have come from. Did Hina kill her best friend? Oh my god. Hmm. Not a chance. Bye, Akuya. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Okay, uh, I don't seem to remember this Monokuma fight. Oops, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Uh, I'm used to playing Subnautica. Tab is the inventory button. Where would I find the... Uh, Monokuma file? I want to read it. Yeah. The victim of the Sakura Ogami. Time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point, the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. So strong blow to the head and vomiting blood. So maybe not Hina, but someone poisoned her. That dazed her enough that she could be finished off by the blow to the head. Oh, I kind of forgot by... Oh. What's over here? Oh. Some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance to the room. Is this what we threw in there to break the... How did we get in here? I don't remember. So... It looks like a protein drink. And it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. She mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. It wouldn't take that to heart if I were. I know. It's still this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. It reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. She must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. That's strange. What is? Hey. See what's scattered around the can? Broken glass, yeah. Shards of light blue glass. It must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. They're not just scattered around the can, but also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Huh, I wonder why you feel that way. An important clue? I'm not sure I see how. Empty protein drink has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Uh... I think there was something else, but I'm just gonna get these the cows. What the heck? You already know who did it. <laughs> By Akuya, Toko, or Hiro, it had to be one of them. I couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Hmm, pleading for assistance. I don't trust Hina anymore, and that that breaks my heart to say, but I don't trust Hina anymore. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me... She said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet them in the rec room by noon. Noon is around the time of death. By noon. Oh, the game tells you anyway. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, but she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her, by force even, this never would have happened. Hina. It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. I don't remember how to pronounce her first name, so I'm not even going to try. But the fact that she had asked for those three to meet with her, and she had asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying, might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. Good tip. Give me a sec, guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. However, but for Sakura to have been killed... Yeah, she's not the type that would go down without a fight. That's why I was thinking poison. That weakened her at first. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist. Strong in body, mind, and spear. That doesn't sound like Kyoko at all. What was I thinking? So, how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? He must have taken her by surprise, right? 
Certainly. C certainly. They would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. And that's it. Okay then. Bye, Akuya. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then it's true? <laughs> I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? <laughs> of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Bakuya says you didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Come on! If you're, if you're all finished, please remove yourself from my site. Okay, thanks. Bayakuya's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the, your handbook. I think that's everything I need to look at. I need to examine the crime scene as much as possible. Apparently not. Alright, I don't like using the tab method to see what I can click, but that's just, I'm running out of stuff. Uh, shattered glass. I can look at the magazine itself, itself, and I can look at the clock. Why is the clock important? It's around 1 o'clock right now. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura died around 12 noon. So, roughly an hour ago. Was that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? Possibly. Magazine shelf. The same shelf full of magazines. There's all kinds of different magazines here. Is that it? I clicked on the locker, I clicked on the wrapper, I talked to everyone in the room. Could have sworn there was something else. Oh, there's two things over here I can click on. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door- Oh, right! There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. And there's where we broke in. This door is the only way in or out of the rec room. I don't think so. I think that locker hides a secret exit. The door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence of any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the, the door itself. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, it's no doubt the reason behind the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. See, it took me a long time to figure out that's why you shoved the a chair under the door. You see it in all these, you know, spy movies, or maybe not even spy movies, but you just see it in stuff like that. They're trying to be sneaky, they shove a chair under the door. I've never figured out, it took me a long time, it was, what was it? Um, it was a spy movie. And it actually shows the knob kind of turning but being blocked by the chair. And that's like, oh, so that's why you do it. And there was no evidence of the dare, door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked room door. Locked door. God, I cannot talk tonight. From the inside, not from the outside. The rec room door has been added to the truth bullet section of your hand. Listen. Makoto. Have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then... then... You should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided yell go in my place. She's decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our... issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted me to meet, wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. That's a secret exit. I'm calling it right now. Oh no, I wanted to leave the area, not go through all this again. Whoops. There we go. Excellent. Those two other two probably went back to the rooms. Oh, so quick cut. Awesome. Handy. I don't have to go wandering through the halls. Uh, who was it? It was Hero and... Um, Toka, right? Oh, Junko's room is still here. That That's a long time ago. I press the doorbell. And after a few seconds... Is it the same goddamn anim- It's the same animation. Who? Who's there? Who's there? They really wanted to get their mileage out of this particular animation. 
<clears throat> the most negative aura I've ever felt. Aura of total decay. Oh? What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? It's always a bad time with Toko, but we'll see how this goes. Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You just said you wanted to talk to me about something? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. What? Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Bakuya already told me she had asked to meet with him. She wanted to meet with Master too? I just said two, didn't I? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to. Hmm, Toka claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Is that good enough? Now I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Alright, so that's Toko's account. Let's go find Hira. Wow, this is really sad, walking down the halls and seeing all these little happy pixelated sprites of all these people who are dead. That's... sobering. I press the doorbell. After a few seconds... You know? What's up, Makoto? Did you need to know what happens if I just click? Nothing. Okay, I wanted to see because I was making sure I was covering all my bases. No, did I just miss it? Did I just miss? Oh, there's Hero. I was just covering all my bases to make sure I didn't miss any kind of hidden dialogue. What's up, Makoto? Did you need something from me? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How do you know about that? Could it be? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Bayakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh, well, uh, um... she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh... Yeah, a note. She, uh, How about she gave it to me in person. And she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. Gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. Which means it's not hero, because a Danganron trial means you're going in with an expectation and coming out with your mind blown. But now that I'm expecting it to set up hero as though it is and then switch it, I'm expecting hero to not be the killer. Which means if he is the killer, I'm still surprised, even though it's obvious. So I still lose either way. God damn it, dang it, Ronpa. So then you went and met with Sakura? You got it all wrong. No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't me. seen her since then. Well, I'm here. Could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um. Do I still have it? Uh, let's see. Hero was feeling around in his pockets. Hey, ah, come on. sorry. It looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big, goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hiro's pocket. It's a candy wrapper. Huh? 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 Ah! Quick as the wind, Hiro snatched it back up again. Shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on! Sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, uh, if you'll excuse me, before waiting for a reply, Hiro quickly slipped back into his room. He said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash has been added to the truth bullet section of your handle. Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hiro. Uh, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec, rec room. I was planning on checking out the chem lab again. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Well, I want to check the warehouse just in case. Ooh, could I sneak into Hina's room? And see if I can find the candies she says she put in her room? That would be interesting. This is Hina's room. There's nothing to do with the case. Okay, I just wanted to see. And 
now I know where the warehouse is. Probably nothing in here that pertains to the case. But a lot of things to click on, so give me a moment while I go through them all. Okay, nothing worth, nothing about the case, but got a couple mono coins out of it, so it was worth a try. Now off to the chem lab, but that's gonna take a while. I haven't used the fast travel method pretty much at all. And to be honest, this doesn't really help it that much. It doesn't help too much because it only it only advances me floor by it only advances me to rooms on the same floor. So I'm not gonna worry about that, I'm just gonna quick cut to the... when I get to the chem lab, and I'm just gonna go for the long way around. Might take slightly longer, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I'll see you in a minute. And here we go. Oh shit. What? Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it- No, I was try- oh, okay. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf, but more important right now, what's this powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. Someone stepped in it! These are footprints, and they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm, how did these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? I need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm, how kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. So I got to work, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. So, how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. For me. I see. So when you look at it like this, interesting. It appeared that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. I could have told you that without drawing a sketch of the room. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be... It's certainly Ricardo, possible. are they yours? No! What? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what I asked. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit that these are not your footprints. Unfortunately, hmm. with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these prints are a really valuable clue. Is that it? If you lay out the footprints, it looks like this. And we look at the pattern. Okay, so that's it. It's not going to be telling me anything new. The prints are really clear, so which means these footprints are a super valuable clue. What kind of... It's poison. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then, this powder must have been- Then, this powder must have been spilled. In other words, That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. That really is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's clearly some kind of poison. So that spilled. Then someone came in, got something from the left shelf. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. I don't see Chem 4 though. So Chem 4 could have been swapped out for something else. Poison that they then fed to Sakura. The protein drink we found in the record probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelf in unit section A. I mean, except for the one that I can see clearly see that says C9. Huh? But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. So I'm gonna put it there on accident. So then let's check the C cupboard. This shelf is one look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. And it's all Chem C9 it looks like. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers are on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and number. 
So I guess I consider this part of the solving unit section C. For completeness sake, let's get the B section. So on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. The regents. Put simply, they're using in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but... How have you lived in such ignorance for long? It, for so long, it must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser. Which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers are on this shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelf in unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. I should try to find out more about this shelf in unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has re regents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in Section A, there was a bottle with a label from Section C. What was a bottle of poison from Section C doing in Section A? Told you from the beginning, from the very last episode, Sakura was poisoned. There's definitely something going on there. Chem Lab Self has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Is that it? Can I look at this section? At the upper? Okay, so I can't. Blah, blah, blah. I tried to get the top section to see if it had anything different, but apparently not. So that's not it. Oh, I can click on the powder itself. Interesting. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. You better not leave a footprint. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. It also looks like some of the footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was. Yes, I get it. According to Bayakuya, the powder would have to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell from now. Footprints in the powder. Oh, it hadn't. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. They're really holding my hand through this one. To be fair, I need it. I have no idea what's going on. Rec room was the floor just below here, but. So let's check that out. It's amazing how quickly you used to get the si used to the sight of these windows with the plates over them. Oh, yep, there's the rec room. You can tell because as a window, as a portion of the glass popped out. Hey. So Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hira had told me. I see. So along with Bayakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. It's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the self of magazine, and the Monokuma box. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. So you can't just tell me them. You just have to... Okay, fine, whatever. Kyoko said the magazine self was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue, clue... Huh? This magazine is upside down. Someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Pick up the inverted magazine and flip through it. Th this is... Uh, on one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been, been written in bold, bloody letters. And it says Toko. But they've already used the dying message in blood trick back way back in the first case. So I think this is a red herring. This is a plant by the killer to frame Toko. Could be wrong. I don't trust this one. And it said, Toko, can this be the dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. Dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. So what? You just put it back upside down so I could walk in and find it? Kyoko, you don't- you confuse me sometimes. You talk about trust and making plant and working together, but then you go and you intentionally act like you haven't done anything. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. I mean, to be fair, it's teaching me, but it's, just, it's a weird way of doing it. Um... Hey, is that- it says Toko, right? 
Yeah, it looks like it. And she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I could see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, that it makes me that much more suspicious. Mar Makoto's with me. Magazine dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. She said the Monokuma bottles and Sakura's body as well. I think Yoko said she'd found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new, something new. There's two of them missing. Knight and Queen. We have Pawn, Rook. Knight is missing. Knight is on the floor in the one that smashed over Sakura's head. Bishop, Queen, King. So there's two missing. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? Yes, I did. But because I'm not Makoto, Makoto's gonna be a dumbass and say no. There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. Correlation. Um, come on, Makoto. Hey, Kyoko, can you just tell me what it is? I mean, this is an easy one, so you're kind of dumb for not getting it, but I'm glad you're asking Kyoko this question. So... I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. It's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. I do trust you, to a, to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Monokuma bottle has been updated. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Ah, uh, sure, yeah. Picks up bottle and smashes it over my head. An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Bayakuya is not here, so... So then... Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm, done, while I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. That Kyoko left the room. I don't like this. I really don't know what this is about, but the choice do I have? I better just do it. I took up the room in a dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. As I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. So then, is everything ready? Then let's get to work. That little confident, knowing smile on her face. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words, got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? <laughs> the pieces of glass you collected, and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of the two most two normal mona of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Pawn and Bishop. They're roughly the same. It looks like Bishop might be a little bit heavier, but it's a bigger piece. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. Now here comes the important thing. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now what might, we ex what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected would be lighter. I did my best to get them off, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay then, let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottle puts it all together. Hey. I believe you'll arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. Two glass bottles were used to smash Sakurai in the head. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Monokuma bottle experiment has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. There's two missing, Queen and Knight. And if they're heavier... Yeah. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, but hey. don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you... So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. 
That statement has all kinds of connotations. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Hey. She's opening up. Most importantly, look here. It's the yellow powder. Her shoes? You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. Powder is clue number one. Yellow powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. I'm actually even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. So let me just explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Queen Knight. Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands are spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoko's examination summary has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I can't believe she's able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. So he's getting bored. Whoops! He had caught me sleeping! Your investigation was just so boring I couldn't stay awake! Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial! You know where to meet, right? Yeah, I know where to meet. Please go through the red door on the first floor you of tell the me school. Anyway. <laughs> See you soon! It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. But whatever Makoto makes happens is going to wait till the next episode. You guys know the drill by now. These trials are so stupidly long, I leave them in episodes all to their own. And leave it. So, this episode is actually a surprisingly short episode for Dang and Ronpa. And I'd be tempted to try to squeeze in the class trial, but I got something else going on in a little bit. I don't have time to try that and have it take another hour. So we're just going to have a short episode of Danganronpa, which is a little weird. I don't have a firm identity on who killed Sakura, although suicide slash assisted suicide is not completely out of the question. And it's obviously poison. I called that. And she could then... Yeah. No suspects firmly stand out. Hero is the obvious choice. Toko is the obvious choice. Hina. Could it be Hina? I don't want it to be Hina. And I don't. It would be just the kind of twist this game would pull to have Hina be the one to have killed Sakura. I don't want it to happen, though. But we'll have to find out in the next video. But for now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Thank you again, and goodbye.